hand to this tutorial, I'm showing you how to use Artmatic. Okay, so this um, program is for making images, but you can't make images like um, you can in Photoshop. It's basically they're fairly random and um, it would be very hard to draw something like an iMac or MacBook Pro, for example. So anyway, there's a tree over here. Um, and you can ch uh, choose from different structures. So, um, you just select XB field or interpolate. And you can choose different things like dynamo. Uh, you can zoom out. Um, so, to make uh, lots of ripples, um, it's a really good cool effect. Um, but shaders um, is quite an important part of this program because this will change the image um, a lot. So also the um, gradients here, they basically can change the colour with that. There's also a gradient editor, which you can't see at the moment, but you can change the red, green and blue. Uh, so it's a lot different from the Photoshop one, but um, anyway, um, the d different th things that you can insert, like global rotation, lots of other things. So it's just rotation things, so basically you can rotate the image. You can change the center of that. And um, also, uh, you can in if you insert global rotation, you can ch change it to scale and offset. So if you do this, um, then what it should do is um, zoom in and zoom out, or change the size, basically they're both similar in this program. And you can also change the position of this. And you can also make animations in this program. So to do that, um, you need to press Apple key and B, and I'll just move it and zoom it out a bit, Apple key and B. Okay, so if I play this now, um, then you see that um, it goes so extremely fast. Um, I think it's possible to change the speed of it. Um, but anyway, you can all, um, export um, the movie, so you need to press the Save QuickTime Movie button. Um, and the only problem is that um, it takes forever to export. I think I had a 10 second clip that I wanted to export. It was um, said that it would be 250 frames. It took t um, 10 to 15 seconds to um, render each frame, and um, when it f uh, took about 30 minutes, I think, to render it. Uh, so, um, also you can change this. This is mutations dialog. So. Um, can make it auto mutate. You can't really see it at the moment because it's on my other screen. Um, but it doesn't really do that much because you could do that by um, zooming in and zooming out. Um, but anyway, um, you can use a picture or a movie to I think, import in here. So you can delete different branches off a tree. Uh, and um, there isn't really that much that much more that you can do in this. Um, you can save um, a picture from here. The only problem is that it's in a 32-bit format, I think, and Preview won't open it because um, it's a .p file format. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Please rate, comment this video, and subscribe and check out my other tutorials and videos.